Hi there, a very good evening to you from GPC TV News. Hello and welcome to the program. Gianna Shudmiak, Sebastian Shafran. Today is the 12th of July and you're watching sports news on GPC TV. Italy are finally champions. Italy wins the match against the national soccer team of Ireland and becomes the winner of Euro 2012. Let's take a look back at Poland's Euro 2012 hosted by our city. Poznan was one of the eight host cities of the UEFA Euro 2012. The capital of Great Poland hosted Group C matches within the tournament. Each holder of a match ticket could feel lucky. Croatia, Ireland and Italy faced on the 43,000 seat stadium at Bulgarska Street in Poznan. On the 10th of June at quarter to nine, the elimination match between Croatia and Ireland took place. Four days later, but at six, Italy with Croatia, and on the 18th of June again at quarter to nine, Italy with Ireland. The fourth team of Group C, Spain, played all its matches in Gdańsk in North Poland. It was estimated that about 12,000 Irish fans, 6,000 Croatian fans and more than 4,000 Italian fans travelled to Poznan to watch the European Championships. Republic of Ireland had never gone beyond the group stages of the European Championships before and that was their first target this summer. Croatians look to be one of the dark horses to win the tournament outright. With the start of the Euro for Croatian fans ended an extremely bad and long time of suffering after missing the World Cup 2010 in South Africa. Croatia, 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 Croatia. The competition slogan, Creating History Together, reflected the fact that Poland and Ukraine were united in the past as one country and now represent ambitions of two Eastern nations to perform the best tournament in the history of European Championships. Croatia, we love you! Poland is the best! Croatia! Italy coach Cesar Prandelli admitted that his side could face a tough task to progress from Group C at European Championship. It wasn't too bad. Italy won all their matches and are finally champions. What's more, they did it their way. Their frustration and their successive failures never led them to lose faith in themselves to abandon the way they want to play. They have always prized technical excellence and imaginative expression above all else, advocated fantasy above pragmatism. They always knew they were right, and now they may bask in a beautiful vindication. Stop! <laughs> We know we had to face strong opponents, but we brought our football and our style to the tournament, and that's why we won. We are And this is all from the GPC TV 7 o'clock news. Have a good evening, goodbye, and remember. Coco, Coco, Euro Spoko.